They're not logical creations. Logic is a part of what we do. Rational thinking is a part of what we do. But a lot of what we do has nothing to do with rational thinking. You, I, I know lung cancer specialists that smoke. That's not logical. That's not rational. But they do it. Isn't it? I know extremely intelligent people who speed on the highway. Right? They, and th that's, not re that's not logical. It's just, I just feel it's, I just got the Beamer and I just wanted to, you know, like... Do really, really logical people, rational people, do really stupid things also? Is that life every day? It certainly is. Human beings aren't entirely rational, and they're not entirely emotional. There's a strange mix of those, those two things inside of us. And Allah understands that chemistry of those two things. And He speaks to us appealing in just the right amount of both of those things. The Qur'an is not a spiritual text only, and it's not a rational text only. It is a rational yet spiritual, spiritual yet rational text. And that's why those two things are sandwiched together. But clearly, the primary... Allah. Allah argues, for most human beings, I would, in my own study, this is the conclusion I've come to, for most human beings, appealing to their heart comes first. And if you can appeal to their heart, then their mind will be set in the right direction. And that's the next thing I want to highlight before I get technical with you. Let me give you a simple example. When I told you, uh, uh, you know, a lung cancer specialist smokes, or better yet, a medical student smokes, if, if he were to ask him what are the harms of smoking, he will list them better than the side of the pack. He'll tell you exactly what the harms are. But he won't stop smoking. But when his dad pulls into the driveway, what does he do? He take, puts out the stogie, flushes it down the toilet. I don't have experience. I'm not saying this because I know. <laughs> I've never smoked in my life. I'm just imaginative, okay? I just have a, an active imagination. Anyway, so, you know, you know, air freshener, all of it. All of a sudden, he stopped smoking. The Surgeon General was telling him, you will get cancer, and that didn't help. And his dad pulled into the driveway, and he just turned it off. Why? What drove, what drove him to turn, take away the cigarette? Fear. Disappointment of father. Some, something, an emotion, isn't it? Now, what I'm trying to tell then is, it seems to be that the heart, which is the Qur'an describes the heart as the place where all the emotions sit. Fear is in the heart, anger is in the heart, sadness is in the heart, joy is in the heart, peace is in the heart. Any major feeling you think about, Allah describes it associated with what? The heart. That the heart is, seems to be in the driver's seat. It seems to be in the driver's seat. And then if your heart is turning right, you will use your mind and focus all of it towards the right. And if your heart is to the left, you'll focus all of your mind towards the left. Look, the, 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 the rabbis of the Israelites were genius people. They were ahbar, literally ahbar. Ahbar comes from the Arabic word hibr, which means ink. Literally, Allah describes them as ink people. You know why? Because they write so much and they're reading books so much, their hands are always covered in what? Ink. They're, they're, they're incredibly well-read people. Yet their corruption, they're so smart, they know it so well, and yet they're corrupt. Why? Because the heart took a, took a left turn somewhere, and then the mind is being exercised to follow the whims of the heart. You know, you'll have a really smart kid, and if he's got a criminal inclination a little bit, he'll use his intelligence to hack into people's bank accounts. He could be using it for something good, but now he's using it for, some, for his greed. You understand? So our minds are, in a sense, going to be biased by where our hearts take us. So what Allah aligns first in the Qur'an is what? The hearts. And then He appeals to the mind. And the argument is, if the heart is not aligned first, then no matter how much you try to reason with the mind, it just won't see it. Because it's already pulling in a different direction. You could give all the logical explanations you want, somebody just doesn't want to hear it, because it's not their mind that's the problem, it's what? It's their heart. And you've experienced this in life. You've had conversations with someone who says, I'm not convinced. And then you sit with them, and you crush all of their arguments. And now they're angrier than they were before. Why are they angrier? Because now that you took away the excuse that their mind is not convinced, it only exposed the fact that it was their heart that didn't like it. 